All right, guys, today we're going to walk through the installation of the 2JR shifter bushing install. Uh, the bushings go on the transmission side and then under the shifter base uh, in the car. So we'll walk you guys through that. Uh, and then here we've got the outline of the tools and then we've got the ones for the uh, shifter cables on the transmission. These are the interior ones. Um, we've got a set getting anodized and stuff right now. So these kind of are our prototypes, but uh, when the kit ships, they'll all be obviously like this. And I'll turn over to Robert and he'll kind of walk you through uh, what we're going to do and uh, how it's all done. All right, all you're going to need is uh, either uh, a battery operated 3 8 or 3 8 ratchet, uh, extension, 12 millimeter socket, a 10 millimeter socket, some uh, interior panel tools, a magnet just in case. Phillips screwdriver and then a flat tip screwdriver. <clears throat> so the one for the cable on top of the transmission is kind of simple. You just unplug the mask. There's a clip right here. Just pull it off of the air box right here. And you go around the side of the air box, there's another one for the solenoid. You just undo the solenoid right here. Plug it. This vacuum hose, just undo it. Slide it off. And just grab, you loosen up this clamp right here. Just work that boot off of the box. And then just grab the whole air box and just kind of pull it up a little bit. for the cable on top of the transmission. It has two clips, one here, one here. You just kind of fold them off, slide them out, make sure you don't drop them and lose them. Same thing with the other one. Slide it off. And then these just pull up. Same thing with this one, just pull it up. All right, to take these off, you just stick a screwdriver or something in the middle of it and just kind of pry it over and it just pop right out. Real simple. Same thing with these. Stick it in there, pry it off, and out you go. All right, so there's two different sizes. There's the bigger ones and then the smaller ones. So each will coincide with the the shifter uh, with the cable, one's big, one's small. This washer goes on the smaller side. All right, so you just pretty much just sandwich the cable, just like that. Slide it back in. Brass washer, on the outside right here. And you grab your clip. A little pinhole in here you just slide it back in there push it down make sure it seats all the way down in there just like that right. so you do the same thing to the other cable sandwich them in there slide it on slide the cable pin and pin here and that's it Alright, in the box, you just assemble it just like you took it off, just in reverse order. Don't forget to put your racking hose back on. All the sensors. All 
All right, so for the interior bushings, we're just gonna work taking off this, this plastic trim right here, uh, the shift knob, and then this half of the center console off just to get to the uh, shifter box assembly. So first I want to take this cover off. It has this, a Phillips screw right under here. You just remove that and then I'll show you how to get all these other clips off. All right, once you remove this Phillips screw, you just kind of pull this panel down a little bit. It has a little pop right here. You just kind of push it down just a little bit. Then you want to start working. And it has a little pop wall behind here. And you can get your panel tool and just kind of wedge it up in here and just start popping these off. Tug it a little bit on this side. Just pop it out like that. This little connector. Just take it off. Move that panel off to the side. Then you gotta take the shift knob off. Just screw off. Screw it off. Take this little plastic ring off. There's gonna be a spring under here, so. Just be careful with it, don't bust it. There's a little screw. Then I'm gonna work on this center console right here. So you'll have some uh, some little clips over here holding the harness in place. Just undo those. Just take your time undoing those. Then you got these three clips right here. One, two, three. Just remember where they go. Set that off to the side. I'm gonna take this plastic part right here off. The shifter boot pops off. We have another clip right here. So do that. I'll just pop this part off for right here next to the e-brake. Just slide it back some. start working on the shifter box so you'll have a clip on this side of the cable you want to take off put it off to the side pull that cable off right there these cables you want to twist like you unscrew in and then kind of hold hold it back and pull it up so those are the cables now this harness it has all these little clips on this side there's one Two, three, and then four. So you just get those off the shifter box. Then you're gonna get your 12 mil socket and the extension. And there's four bolts. Magnet, kind of 
fish them out of here. Once you get those four bolts and harness off of it, then you can work with the box. Just kind of wiggle it out a little bit. Under here is where you're gonna have your second cable. It has two tongs over here. You just kind of want to separate them. You just separate them and then just pull down on it and it'll come right up. All right, now that you got the box off, I'm gonna take these metal rings off. Slide out of the, out of the rubber. And same thing like the cables. The easiest way I found to put these back on, put the bushings in, grab a zip tie, put them in here, just kind of zip tie them in place for now. Just zip tie all four of them in. So what you want to do when you're putting it back in, just position the box kind of at this angle, this cable. Just, just kind of push it back in until it clips. And there's that cable. Then you want to kind of feed it back up in here. Try to move the harness around to get it back in position. All right, once you get it, Get the box kind of position and you want to grab the zip ties you put in cut them off I'm just kind of feed it back up just hold the box in place make sure you don't lose the bushings and you want to grab your nut your bolts get it kind of started okay once you start all the bolts back in the proper spots you just tighten them up all right now put the cable just Unscrew it some. And then just slide it back in its pocket. Just like that, and then tighten it. Just screw it back. And put it back on its pin on the side over here. Put the locking pin back in. Put it in place. connectors back in.
spring back in. A little white keeper here. Push it all the way down underneath the ridge. Shift mode back in. Trim piece right here. Plug it in. Then you want to put the driver's side on first. Just want to clip everything back in place. Alright, push this panel back in, pop it there, push it up there. Screw back in. And after that, we're done. Alright, now the shifts feel a lot crisp, more direct. There's no slop in it at all.